Garza trade between the Cubs and the Rays. The pitch ripped the third. Wisdom's got it. Nice snag. Wow, you can't hit a ball much harder than Ryan Matthews just did. He smoked it, but Wisdom up to the task. What a play. Against Boston, the full count pitch. Lifted in the air to left center. Long run for both Tilson and Valera. Back at the track at the wall. Valera leaping, and this ball is off the wall. Bounces back in. It'll be extra bases. Scoring on the play is Wooten. Maxwell pointing out, thinking he had a home run this on that play, but did not get the call on his manager, not arguing. The umpires together and discussing it up the third baseline. And it is a home run. Nothing snappers lead. This pitch is swung on, driven into left field. Valera going back, he's at the track. This ball is gone. So the Chiefs did not give up a home run in the first five games and have now given up back-to-back -back homers here in the fourth. Pitch is swung on, line to center. That ball is down for a base hit. Chiefs have their second hit of the night. Bar. The pitch is ripped out in the right field, going back on it is Wooten. He's at the track. He is at the wall. He cannot make the play. It bangs off the Remax sign, and Swinson streaking for third with a stand-up triple. Set on the ground to second. This will bring Swinson home. The throw to first is in time, and the Chiefs are on the board. With the RBI ground out as Swinson scores. Pitch is swung on and caught by the second baseman. Tell you what, Chris Bostick had a heck of a night defensively at second. He snags that line drive, and that will end the ball game. Chiefs do get on the board in the ninth inning. One run, one hit. And nobody left to avoid the shutout, but fall tonight to the Beloit Snappers by the score of 4-1, to one, snapping the three-game winning streak.